Order of Operations, Part 2. All right, so we have our order of operations, and we have that PEMDAS, standing for Please Excuse My Dear Aunt Sally. And remember, multiplication and division occur from left to right, and addition and subtraction occur from left to right. Taking a look at this first problem, instructions say to simplify each expression. 30 divided by 3 times 2. Now, we look at right here, it says to do multiplication and division from left to right, meaning we work on that first multiplication or division problem that we find. And so in this case, if we're working from left to right, the first one that we find is 30 divided by 3. 30 divided by 3 is 10. And then we can multiply by 2 to get 20. If someone had done that problem incorrectly, they would have evaluated that 3 times 2 first and come up with the wrong answer of 5. 5 is not the value. Our value is 20 for that expression. If we look at our next expression, we've got 18 minus 2 plus 6. And again, we're showing you that importance of doing that addition and subtraction from left to right. Our first addition or subtraction problem that we come across from left to right is 18 minus 2. 18 minus 2 is 16 plus 6, which is 22. As you see here, I've written out our steps to work for addition and subtraction from left to right, and I'll review them again. 18 minus 2 is that first addition or subtraction problem that we come across, so 18 minus 2 evaluates to 16. And then we bring down the plus 6 here. 16 plus 6 evaluates to 22. If someone had looked at this in the middle, oh, 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 2 plus 6 is 8. 18 minus 8 is 10. They would not have been following that order of operations. They would have gotten the wrong value. They would have gotten the wrong value. And then so we know that this expression does not evaluate to 10. That it doesn't evaluate to 10. We have to follow the order of operations. If we're given another expression here to evaluate, you are going to look at right here. And we look at this, we have 2, and then we've got this parentheses right here, and it says 4 plus 3. And what this means is 2 of 4 plus 3. 2 of 4 plus 3, that's how it's, it's read. 2 of 4 plus 3. 2 of 4 plus 3, which means 2 times. 2 times the sum of 4 and 3, if I was to write that back under the words. So by our order of operations, what we end up doing is that we add the 4 plus 3 first. We go ahead and add that 4 plus 3 first, and then we're taking 2 of 7, which is 2 times 7, which does equal 14. So this expression, 2 of 4 plus 3, 2 times 7, which equals 14. We've got this expression again, and remember, parentheses tell us to do that operation first. And if we look at this right here, this is not 2 of anymore, this is 3 of, because we got a 3 right here. And it's not that I, oops, Mr. Yen, Mr. Yen, you forgot to put something in between this and the parentheses. No, this is how it works in math, where this is 3 of 20 divided by 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10, and then we have 3 tens. 3 of 10, which is 3 times 10, which is 30. You try. Write this down for yourself. Hit pause.
Remember that's 5 of 16 plus 8. 16 plus 8 is 24. 5 of 24, which is 5 times 24. And some of you might need to write that up and down to be able to solve it. So you might be looking at going, okay, well that's 20 times 5, which is already 100, and put it together with 4 times 5, which is 20, so that gives us 120. Here's another one for you to try. Go ahead and hit pause. Do you remember your order of operations? Did you remember to do your multiplication first? So we clear our parentheses. 5 times 2 is 10, and 30 minus 10 is 20. And then we have 6 of all of this here, which is 6 times 20, which is 120. I've written out another one for you to solve. Go ahead and hit pause after you've written it out and evaluated this expression. Hope you didn't get tricked here. Evaluating the parentheses first, 24 divided by 6 is 4. 4 times 2, which is 8. I have evaluated those parentheses right now, and it was 3 of 8. 3 of this, 24 divided by 6 times 2, which is 3 times 8, which evaluates 2, which equals 24. All right, I have another expression here for you to evaluate. We'll go ahead and work on this one together. We've put in some exponents in there now. If we read this, this expression is read 7 squared minus 8 squared minus 19. And then, of course, with that order of operations, we work with our parentheses first there. And so we've got 8 squared minus 19. 8 squared minus 19. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Up, oh, we have that exponent that occurs first. And so the first exponent that we see here is 8 squared within that parentheses. So 8 squared is 64. 64, we still write that minus 19. And I'll write out each of these steps for you so you can see this. And we continue with that parentheses there, where we continue to clear that parentheses. 64 minus 19 is 45. And then so we have 7 squared still, minus 45. 7 squared, then, if we look from left to right now at this point, for PEMDAS, we are looking at this right here, where we still have to clear an exponent. We finally finished clearing that parentheses. 7 squared evaluates 2, 49, and then we have minus 45, and this evaluates to 4. So all of this, hey, it just evaluates to 4. It's your turn. Here are a few problems. Once they're written down, hit pause and solve, please. Please hit, please hit pause. All right, for that first one, 3 squared evaluates to 9 times 2 cubed. 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So we have this expression right here, which you should still be familiar with. 9 times 8 is 72 minus 20, which equals 52. Give yourself a pat on the back if you've got that correct answer there. We'll follow that order of operations for that second one there. Again, we have to clear our parentheses first. And we have 4 squared divided by 2 within our parentheses. 4 squared is 4 times 2. No, no, no. We can never do that, right? That'd be the most common mistake. 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. 16 divided by 2, which is 8. So I've worked with that parentheses there. And then so I'm going to go ahead and evaluate 7 cubed here, which is 7 times 7 times 7, which is 49 times 7. And then that's minus all of this here. And then so I've evaluated this here. And I'm just going to put a set of parentheses in there so I really remember that I'm evaluating 7 cubed. 
And then so I'm going to have to write that off on the side to figure out 49 times 7. And so I've written it off on the side, and it does make sense. 40 tens and 40 times 7 is already 280. 9 times 7 is 63. 280 and 63 is 343. We have to remember to subtract our 8 still. And then so if we subtract our 8, we get 335. That second expression evaluates to 335. I'm going to leave you with one last expression to evaluate. Hey, look at this. We've got two sets of parentheses within our expression. And I did that same thing where this means two of all of this here in parentheses. And then so what this means is we have to clear our parentheses first. And then so I look here, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and work with this in parentheses first, and then I will double it. So I look within the parentheses. I'm all, hey, wait, there's another set of parentheses. They want me to do this 6 times 2 first. And then so if we have the 6 times 2, we get 12. And we rewrite the rest of it there. And so we have 2 of all of this here. Up, oh, it's a little simpler now. Now if I look from left to right within that parentheses, I'm all, okay, well, I have exponents. So I'm going to go ahead and evaluate 9 squared. 9 squared is 9 times 9, which is 81. At that point, earlier in the video, I really stressed that importance of evaluating this so that you did that addition and subtraction from left to right. So the first addition or subtraction problem that we came across is 81 minus 12, and 81 minus 12 is 69. So we have 69 plus 15 within our parentheses now, getting simpler, and so we have 69 plus 15, which is 84, and 2 of 84, which is 2 times 84, which is 168. So I've just figured out what my value is of that expression by following the order of operations, which again, PEMDAS and that there is what you need to follow and use when you are evaluating or solving these different expressions.